All right. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you guys the basic course walkthrough for U.S. History AZ-1 at Willow Canyon High School. So it'll start out, you need to go to dicert.schoology.com and log in, which you, which you should all know how to do. And when you come up, you should have your courses up here and listed. If you don't see your course, now for me, if you're in one of my in-person courses, it's going to show one of these four pictures, either... Uh, Washington here, uh, a collage of different U.S. historical events, the moon landing, or some events during the Civil Rights era. If you're in my iSchool course, you are going to see the iSchool icon. Um, if you don't see these courses and you see some older courses, or you see courses you're no longer enrolled in, all you do is you click My Courses, and then you click Reorder Courses, and you'll see every course you've ever taken or that is active. And if you don't like where something is, you simply grab it and drag it to where you want. Anything below this blue line here will be, you will not see at all, okay? So you should set up your top five courses in your advisory uh, in order, so, and that's the easiest way for you to see it. Now, only your teacher can change this picture, so if you're only seeing nothing, uh, ask your teacher to change the picture, and if they don't know how, have them ask Mr. Alfred. So, once you're in your course, and we'll go ahead and select uh, this first course here, AZ US History, um, you're going to land on a welcome page. Uh, some people call this the landing page, but or welcome page. Now, on this welcome page, you're going to get your instructor's name, in my case, John Alfred, my email, my availability, now let me stress on this availability that I'm always here during the class hour you are assigned, so in first hour that'll be 7.15 to 8.15 uh, Tuesday through Fridays and 7.15 to, I want to say 7.50, I could be wrong on that, but the, the shortened Monday schedule. And the same thing goes for every other class, second hour, third hour, fourth hour, etc. Okay, um, we have a class discord that you can feel free to join. That link um, is here on Schoology. You just click it and join. Make sure you do read your uh, the server rules when you join. We have our Google Meets Mondays link and our Sun, or excuse me, Tuesday through Fridays link, and that is there for you guys to join in. So when you log into the class during your class hour, you'll go ahead and click the appropriate link. Um, here's a little welcome for me. Talks a little bit about who I am, and I want to stress that this course is available for dual enrollment. What that means is you can take this course for college credit. More information can be found if both in th in this PDF and in the tab about dual enrollment in, in the black folder. Now, you're going to see a series of folders. Now, if you're watching this video, you see a lot more folders than you are going to see. Um, if it is faded out like this in this video, that's because I have unpublished it. That means you as a student or parent cannot see it. Um, right now, I'm only keeping open our weekly agendas and information, our daily attendance quizzes, and module one, which is the first module we're working on. When we finish module one, I will open up module two, and so on and so on, until we get to this semester four. In our weekly agendas and information folder, you will have the weekly agenda, which has a page which shows you, give it a second, which, which is gonna show you every single assignment <clears throat> every single assignment that we are going to do throughout the semester. On the bottom here, uh, you have your different tabs for different months. It starts off with the week of August 4th. It has your day. It has your assignment. It has what dual enrollment people will be doing to supplement the existing lessons and then the due dates. And then if it's a dual enrollment assignment, their due dates. And so, And that just goes on, on and on for each month. It also shows you your days off. Um, etc etc also in the weekly agendas and information folders are a series of pages that go through and explain how to do each of these things so there's more information about dual enrollment how to be successful during remote learning Google meets how to get in with that and all those things and you can just click on those as you go and none of these are assignments if you see this little icon here this is just a page and it provides information for you only the next set of folders that you'll find in here are your daily attendance quizzes. 
Now, what I wanted to show you was you can click here on the blue words and it takes you to a different page which shows you everything inside. Or you can click this little arrow and it will expand. And so your daily attendance quizzes, which you'll be doing every day, is simply a one question, true or false type test that you'll take. And all these questions are extremely easy. None of them are difficult. Most of them are pop culture references where it'll say, um, this occurred this day in history and it'll just say true or false and you'll click true because it's always true. And this is a way for me to track if you are physically in class because when you turn that in, that will be time stamped and will show when you did it. Now, the meat of our lessons and tests and assignments and projects and everything else are going to be in these module folders. As you can see, there are four modules for the entire semester. Right now, we only have module one open. When you click that module, there will only be one assignment open. That is our assignment for the first day of school. Um, but all of these assignments will eventually get published. This is our entire first unit, which we are starting with a bit of a review about um, American history from the colonial time to the Civil War. We're going to take a pretest on the information of the Civil War, go over geography, and this, the, so the first two assignments are really kind of just a quick prehistory of the Civil War and why it started and how it was caused. And then we move into the Civil War. We talk about what happens after the Civil War. Um, this period we call Reconstruction in the New South, the Face of Freedom. Uh, dual enrollment will have an additional uh, assignment here um, in the sixth lesson. Um, Westward Expansion, we're going to deal with what happened after the Civil War, especially in the American West. And then we're going to review all the materials from that, that assignment. We're going to do what's called a discussion-based assessment, and I'll go over that later when we get closer to that. This will be the end of the month, and then there will be a Module 1 exam. Now, if some of you have taken iSchool before, this will look very, very familiar. Unlike iSchool, I will only be turning these on one assignment at a time. Uh, and so it's not like you could just sit down and slam it out on your own at home. This distance learning is meant to simulate the classroom, but instead of sitting in front of me in my classroom in room A139, you will be sitting at your home. And I expect you guys to be logged in to Google Meets during class hour where we are going to discuss these things. This is not just you read the lesson in Schoology and you're done. I will be adding additional things on here. We'll be having breakout rooms, small group instruction, group projects, and all that and we'll be going over a lot of that and what it looks like during the first week of school to show you a little more detail. So your course is there. When in doubt over here on the right as you can see my cursor moving around this is where upcoming assignments are going to be so when in doubt you can always see it there. I also have a link inside the black folder for my Google Calendar that is up for the class where you can see every assignment and when's it, when it's going to be due. I'm going to update that calendar roughly one week at a time. One week at a time because while you got the in the weekly agenda what everything should look like, sometimes we need to go faster, we need to go slower and whatnot. And I can tell that week by week. Um, over here on your left, you will have a variety of things, the updates, if I need to push out a message to everybody, it'll be done through the updates. Um, if we, your grade book will be right here. This will also transfer to your infinite campus. Don't worry about grade setup. I don't believe you guys see that at all as a student. Mastery, I don't believe you guys see that either. Badges, I will be giving badges um, for students that do things. This is a new feature for me, so I'm figuring that out. So I can't really tell you what it's gonna look like. I may get rid of it, I may keep it, I may expand it. I don't know, but I'm going to be playing with it. Um, there's some other things down in here that you could be adding in, but um, that's it. That's your course. Now, I'm super excited for this course. This course um, will cover the time period. So we're talking August to December. It's going to cover the time period. We're going to cover the Civil War. We're going to cover the Progressive Era and the rise of cities in the United States that time period between 1877 and uh, 1900. We're going to look at the U.S. in its expansion out to the rest of the world, 1900 to 1914. We're going to look at World War I, the Roaring Twenties, and we're going to end the semester with the Great Depression. 
um, semester two will start in World War II then and move on to modern times, but semester one will go basically Civil War to Great Depression, and a lot of those topics are very important today. We're going to look at the power of the states versus the power of the federal government. We're going to look at race relations. We're going to look at labor practices and the role of government during recessions and depressions and the role of government in encouraging economic growth and the role of government in discouraging economic growth. We're going to look at U.S. as a world power. What is the role of the United States in regards to the rest of the world? Do we have a right or a responsibility or a duty to go out to the rest of the world and help them? Or is that something that should the rest of the world should deal with its own problems. These are all issues Americans faced, and we're still discussing all of these issues, the role of the government, race relations, uh, federal government's power and rights and duties in terms of economics, our rights and duties in regards to the rest of the world. So all these things we're facing in 2020, we have faced throughout our entire history, and that's what we'll continue to talk about in this course. Uh, this course will use primary source and secondary source documents uh, to look at historical events. Students will look at those documents and come up with conclusions based on those documents, based off their own historical views about what events in history mean. Now, I know this is going to be kind of controversial, but I'd like to say it anyways. I would like you guys to understand that history is not the study of facts. It is not the study of dates. It is not the study of people. That is a very elementary, junior high level of historical studies. Once you enter high school, college, and beyond, what history is, is history is the study of the written word. How people record their events day to day. Everything has a history. Baseball has a history. Football has a history. Medicine, art, politics, economics. Everything has a history. And the thing is, the, thing, the funny thing about humans is each of us look at the same thing and see something different. There's often a joke, if you have two people arguing, you have three opinions. Um, and that's kind of what history and the study of history becomes as we enter high school, as we enter college. We start to look at how different people looked at the same event and what it meant for them and how that perception shaped their future actions. No one is debating whether Columbus landed in the Bahamas in October of 1492, but it means very different things to different groups. It meant very different things to groups then. It means different things to groups now and different things to different groups throughout those 500 years since it's happened. Um, and every single event is that way. And that's what we're going to look at. We're going to look at perspective. And my goal as a teacher is to provide you those sources that allows you to make up your own opinions and the ability to argue those opinions using information that you have researched to show why your perspective is the reason you think it's right. And also in this course, what we're going to look at is how do we be respectful about other people's opinions. Not everybody is going to agree with your opinion, and that's okay. Your ability to critically think and to look at data and maybe even change your mind after looking at different data points is the goal of this class. We're going to look at the American dream, and the American dream means many different things to the hundreds of millions of people who have lived here and the billions of people who have interacted with the United States over the past two and a half centuries. So I hope this uh, helped you guys out. This is a brief course overview, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all on Tuesday. Thanks.